guess I'm up. I can't sleep tonight. I'm too busy trying to figure out how to make tomorrow right. I'm excited, are you? I'm excited. Hey, what's Wait. What? Why? Why don't you like it? What is this? It's good for your health. I don't want to live for hundred years. Guess I'm doing better than before, but still I got a lot. So we have finally pulled it off. So now we have finally arrived. I am so tired. Like, oh my god, it felt like it was the whole day, literally. Only oh, was like five hours. So when I get to my place where I'm gonna be staying, I'll probably give you guys a tour around to see, you know, where I'll be staying and stuff. And I'll probably tell you guys the sad story of what happened to me today. So guys, this is the following morning. I'll just see if I could give you guys a quick tour. Look at that. Hey. Figure out how to make my dreams become reality. That's what I chase. Every day I'm older than the last I don't have the time to waste just maybe. And so the airport is very close by, so you basically be hearing planes all the time. And you see all the planes are landing and stuff. Wake up is on point. <laughs> what you all thinking? Hey, go! <laughs> this is my highlight. Maybe so I forgot my highlight brush. You know the fan brush I use for my highlights? Girl, I use a foundation brush to create this highlight. So it's excessively popping. You feel me? <laughs> oh my god. So I'm just waiting for David. I think he came out with like a short sleeve shirt. And then <laughs> he realized it was freezing. My brother wanted to do a <laughs> Canadian boy, boy, Canadian boy. Because you know when you go from Canada, you're used to like minus 10, minus, when you come from Canada, you're used to minus 10 degrees, minus 15, you just like a bit. My brother said, ah, yeah, it's just minus 1, 0 degrees, so, you know, it's not really gonna be that, <laughs> that cold. <laughs> Nothing told him to run to go and find himself a sweater. He's not serious. So I'm just basically waiting for David and then we'll just go have some breakfast and you know I will see you guys over there. Oh my god, it's so full here. You guys need to see. Let me take me for a moment. See? David say hi. <laughs> so I actually gonna get two of the oh two of this one. The sticky bag? How do you like this? Well done. Oh, well done. And, uh, we don't want some uh, bacon. Bacon? We want yeah. So sausage or bacon? Sausage. 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 Sausage
and then there's a pressed iron there's an ironing board and I kept my suitcase in here okay my next time we're going to go and the thing that actually amazed me is that there's a laundry in here so that's the washing machine and the drying machine and then this is the city room uh, this is what the dining room looks like there's a TV here and yeah and then there's a balcony So we're very close to the airport. The airport is just like 10 minutes away from here. So you basically hear the sound of the plane here all the time. So like I like the setting that the whole village settings and all that stuff, the trees, the wind, you know, the environment, the atmosphere. So now that I'm here, I'm actually going to tell you guys what happened to me yesterday. I think this is a good spot with a good light too. So yesterday when I was, wow, I can't even believe that happened to me. <sighs> so yesterday, it's so hard to tell the story because it's just kind of unbelievable, you know? So yesterday I was... I can't even speak. <laughs> so yesterday, when we were coming, um, we took the... I was at Southgate Transit Center. Southgate Transit Center is like it's, um, where you catch the train, basically. So we were taking the train to the, to the last stop and then we'll take the cab from there. And so we got to Southgate Transit Center. Most of you that live in Edmonton will know where Southgate Transit Center is. So it's just like basically a train station. So we got to Southgate Transit Center and unfortunately for David, David forgot his wallet at home. So I told him, okay, you know what, just um, go home, go grab your wallet. I'm going to carry our stuffs and just wait in front of the train because by the time you get here, you have only like three minutes to... So because by the time you get here, you have only like three minutes to catch the train. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me be the good Samaritan. I'm just gonna carry the suitcase and all the bags because it's just basically one suitcase and two bags, two small hand luggage basically. So it wasn't really anything that much. So I was like, oh yeah, I mean it's no big deal. I'm gonna carry it, you know. So I carried it and I got to the transit center and I took. The, I was taking the elevator because I had a lot of things, right? So I wanted to take the elevator from upstairs all the way down to catch the train. And when I got downstairs, I was able to bring out my suitcase, but I didn't bring out the two bags. So as, I, as soon as I brought out the suitcase, I picked up my phone to call David to ask him, oh, how is he doing, where is he, you know, the train will be here very soon, and just to make sure he was doing okay, and that was what happened, and then while I was trying to talk, I got distracted, and the elevator closed with my two bags in the elevator, and the elevator went upstairs, I was so confused, I didn't know what to do, I was like, oh my god, I was freaking out, because the two bags, that's the two hand luggages, one was, um, David's clothes and the second one was all of my gadgets in it. So my camera, um, my two cameras, my laptop, David's laptop, laptop charger, memory card, everything, my eyeshadow palette, because I didn't want it to break, so I decided to put it in hand luggage. My eyeshadow palette, my what else was in the bag again? My external drive. Like every single thing I could think of, like every important technological <laughs> device I had. My wallet with all of my money <laughs> in it was also in the bag and my, my wallet has all my bank cards, like my life, like my ID, my driver's license, everything is in my wallet, like everything. My, some of my makeup, like my makeup, my, like my lip gloss, lip balm and stuff like that. But the most painful part was the fact that I had my memory card, my camera, my, what is it called again? My laptop, David's laptop, like how am I going to start replacing all of these if they get stolen you know like it's gonna be so hard so I was like okay I'm just gonna you know when you're actually under pressure your adrenaline tends to act really very fast so right away I just press the elevator so that the elevator will come down as soon as it drops it picks up the first person and luckily for me it was just two floors so it's just gonna go one floor above mine and that's basically it so while I was waiting for the elevator I was like oh should I actually I didn't know what to do, I was so confused. So right away, you know, I don't know what actually made me like act very quick. So right away I took the stairs and I climbed, I ran upstairs, like through the escalator, to meet up with the elevator that is going to pick, that's when you, to meet up with the elevator when it gets up to the next floor to pick the people that will be coming down, if that makes sense. So when I got um, from downstairs of the escalator, I was able to view that, okay, the elevator has opened for people to get in, and then I spotted one person enter. 
and then I was just trying to see if any other person was going to enter and I was trying to see if the elevator was going to be open for a while where I could run and get in, you know? But I couldn't make it, so I just, I just waited downstairs and I watched two people enter into the elevator, but I didn't see who those people were. And so now, with my adrenaline acting very fast, I was so scared, like I was crying. And then I went downstairs, right away, I came downstairs and I ran to the elevator when the elevator had landed. So like a guy, the wife or the partner, the guy, the partner and the kids were in the elevator and the elevator came down and I was like, oh, so right away the guy was carrying David's bag, which is a black bag, he was holding it on his hands. I was like, oh my God, that's my bag, that's my bag. So I took it from him, he gave it to me. And the problem now was my white bag that had all my technological device, my wallet, all my important documents, my passports, like everything was in that bag. And that was the problem. I was like, okay, did you guys see my bag? I was actually like crying. I was confused. I was just ready to go home. I was frustrated. I didn't know where to start from. I was just like, my whole brain was just under a hot mess. So I was like, okay, please, did you guys see my laptop? Did you guys see my bag? Now, even if you didn't see that, did you see anyone that at least took the bag or something? And they're like, oh, I didn't see anything. The lady started getting mad at me. She was like, do I look like a fucking... I was like, damn, she was swearing at me. <laughs> she was like, do I look like a fucking um, backseater? Like, what am I doing with your bag? Da, 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 da. She was just rambling up and down. I was like, I swear, like, it's not even been up to two seconds. This elevator just went up and picked up just the two of you. And my bag is missing. Like, how? I was wondering the elevator go up and literally come down. And if you guys could provide me with one bag, so where is the second one? And they were both tied together. So what do you mean by, do you look like a backseater? I could swear on my life at that moment that they had the bag, but they probably did not want to give it to me. And if I wasn't down there to collect the black one, that's David's bag, from the guy, that's from the husband or the partner, whatever, I would not have gotten any bag. They would have probably gone with the both of them. I started crying like I busted out in tears everyone was looking at me like what is wrong with this lady I was freaking out I was asking everyone I was like I was like a mad woman literally I was asking everyone did you see my bag did you see my bag have you ever had a cloud memory have you ever had these thoughts that oh people get robbed but you've actually never experienced it <laughs> oh god and it's not just getting robbed for like like money it's getting robbed for like money or your technology everything your devices your passport Hot. my ID, my bank cards are all tapped. So once you tap it, you have tapped my whole life. I didn't know what to do. So anyway, I picked up my phone. I was like, I was, I called David. I was like, David, where are you? I was crying. I was like, I'm in trouble. My bags are gone. I was like, what do you mean that your bags are missing? Like, how is that possible? I was like, David, my bag was just stolen. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I was crying. And so finally, I was like, oh, David, where are you? David, I feel like, like he just got to Southgate Transit Center. Finally. It was the best thing that actually happened at that moment. So he came down and he met me there. I was really weeping. He was so scared for me. When I told him that bag was missing because he knows everything that's in the bag. David's eyes were so teary. He wanted to cry so bad because how are we going to start? Like, where do I even start from? That means I am going back to my house. This trip is not going to work. And that means I have to go get a new passport, a new visa, a new everything, a new life, a new driver's license. I have no camera, I have no laptop, I have nothing. I have no money, my cards, my cash, everything was gone. Hey God, hey God, look at me, I say, hey. I was super sure that that couple had my stuff. And you know what happened? The funny part is that when they finally got, you know, to go to the transit, when I came down to the elevator, the train that they were supposed to get on was just right there. So I, I was the one that literally stopped them and distracted them by asking them, oh, do you guys see my bag? So that was how they missed the train. So the next one was in six minutes. So right away, David was like, he couldn't understand how the bag got missing. I explained to him what happened. He ran upstairs right away. He was asking everyone, did you see a bag? Did you see a bag? Did you see a bag? And him being so smart enough, like he was literally asking the whole, everyone he saw on his way. And I was just down there protecting the suitcase and the, his own bag that I actually already had that was safe. I was just protecting it still at the same time trying to plead with those couples like, please, did you see my bag? Because I knew they had the bag. So I was like, please. The lady was cursing me. She was telling me all sorts of nonsense, you know? <laughs> I was like, I didn't know what to do. Like I was, I was, I don't know. I was just... I was down <laughs> and so right away they went upstairs and then 
I think he got upstairs. And you know, do you guys know the ETS um transit center people that are dressed like um security? Yeah, the ETS that's the Edmonton Transit System or the service. I don't even know what it's called, but the Edmonton Transit security guys. He saw two of them, and then he called them downstairs, and they said, "Ask me, did you actually see the woman take the bag?" I was like, "I did not see her, but I'm 100 percent sure that she has the bag. She was the only one that got into the elevator with her husband, and I watched the both of them come down. So what do you mean, like?" Like, I'm 100% sure. He's like, oh, because if you go to court, you have to be very sure and you make sure you actually saw them steal the bag. I was like, I did not see them. That is my mistake. I left the bag in there. I was just, I got distracted and the little went upstairs. But I'm 100% sure these people have the bag. Like, I did not understand how an elevator will start swallowing people's bags. Like, if no one stole the bag, it should be right there waiting for me to pick it up. You know what I mean? So the security guy... David brought was like and I like okay I'm gonna walk up to them so he walked up with them to them with David and David being so anxious he was so angry he was boiling his adrenaline was very active <laughs> so he asked the the security guy was was not trying to you know try to like fancy with the couple and be like oh do you guys have your bus pass for the train that you're going to get on and then they were like yeah they brought out the bus pass why do I bring out the bus pass to show the security guy David looked under the car this woman has two kids one was a baby that was on a shopping, not shopping cart, that was on a baby cart. So, like, you know, the baby trolley. So, one was a baby that was on the baby trolley with the lady. And the other one was a walking kid, like an uh, like a bigger child. So, David looked under the trolley of the, the baby trolley and David was like, that is my bag. So, if this woman wants to prove herself that that's her bag, she should tell me every single thing in it. And right away, the woman just opened the cloth and brought her the bag and gave it to David. And told the guy, fuck off here, you bitch. I was like, that's better. Can I hear fuck off here, you bitch? Girl, that was better than losing my whole documents. Girl, that was a that was the worst moment of my life. You know, since yesterday, I've been playing this whole memory in my head. We missed our train. And keep in mind, I only had three, three minutes, three minutes, and their train would be there and they would take off with my bag. Girl, I didn't even know how to I didn't even know how I felt. I kept thinking about it the whole of yesterday. I've I've been you know, anytime I'm quiet, I just keep, you know, I don't know, like reviewing the whole thing in my brain. I couldn't understand how someone will actually take something that does not belong to you in this world of chaos right now, in this generation where bad things are happening. What if it was a bomb that was inside the bag? Like, you don't even know what is inside. You just pick up someone's thing and it was ridiculous i was crying to this couple with their kids and at some point i was begging the kids i was like hey baby did you see any did you see any bag at all it looks like this you know kids are kind of like very honest so if they see something they will say so i was thinking that maybe the kid would tell me that oh i saw my mommy take something like that you know that kind of stuff i was crying like i was confused so i only had three minutes like three minutes alone would have been enough time for them to take off on the train and that would have been the end of me okay our tour so this is the balcony i'm just gonna go back yeah i was so sad i was like girl the devil is a liar this is a bedroom the tv here this is the drawer the bathroom that's the sink i've literally turned here into my makeup section like these are all lipsticks what is here my jewelry so my makeup this is all my skincare this is all mixed stuff so this is the bathroom. This bathroom reminds me of like back home. Like this is the bathroom I used to use when I was a kid. Like in our kids' bathroom in Nigeria. Exactly. This is floor bathroom. So that's basically it for the accommodation. I can't wait to show you guys what outside looks like. Stay tuned for that, baby. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> I'm not the type's gotta be in love.